Hey there, Libra. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of August 14th. This week, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. But let's see what we have going on for you. Uh, a lot of people showing up, uh, more people showing up here as well. So you could be very social week for you, or uh, you could just be getting a lot of messages, hearing from a lot of people. Uh, but you start off with the Queen of Clubs card of becoming an authority. Uh, I feel like I've delivered this message to you a hundred times, so uh, that's probably true. Uh, you know, a lot of you could just be working towards authority, like positions at work, or even in other areas of your life, trying to you know become a leader, or tr just trying to get into some sort of like more difficult position at work or something like that. Also, a great card for being very friendly and being very charismatic. It does say that you could be attracting a lot of people to you this week through charisma, through your energy, and a lot of people could be attracted to you, again, for those reasons. Next, you have the Jack of Clubs. Again, it just kind of reinforces that energy. You have uh, three Jacks, so I think that it could be a very fun week for you, uh, probably very lighthearted and doing just a lot of you know, fun things. Uh, but this card represents trust and it represents people trusting in you. I feel like the focus is on you this week, uh, just based off of kind of the layout of the cards here. But um, I feel like that people are going to be coming to you, seeking your advice, uh, needing help for something in their lives. And uh, again, I think that you are the one that's going to help other people this week. And, uh, you know, I think it will help you out in a big way. I also think that there could be a lot of pressure on you at work in a good way. Again, I feel like that you're g gaining a lot of responsibilities at work if you work, and uh, those types of responsibilities could lead to a lot more success. Next, you show up as the Jack of Spades here, and Jack of Spades is a card of being very resourceful, and I think that you will be very resourceful this week. Um, just definitely uh, don't hold yourself back this week. I'd say it would probably be a good week for you to say yes to, you know, especially when it comes to work, um, you know, kind of just taking that just say yes uh, mentality, especially if your boss comes to you and says, hey, we want you to do this, we want you to do that. Um, I think it would be a good week for you to take on those extra responsibilities, even if you don't feel like it. Sometimes Jack of Spades is a card of like, especially at work, again, uh, it's a card of like feeling like you don't want to do something, uh, but then after you do it, you're always really, really happy because, again, it leads to some sort of raise or promotion or a big bonus, something along those lines. So I think it would be a good week for you to do that. Not only that, the cards, again, there's a bunch of people here. So the cards are saying, like, if your boss comes to you and wants you to do something like that, uh, take on extra responsibilities. Or, again, if, if a client or you get something in your business that requires extra work, it does say that there are a lot of people around you who would be willing to help you out who could make the job even easier. So I think it would be a good week for you to do that. Uh, also, just as a side note, by the way, if you are looking for love, uh, three jacks. Jacks represent admirers, so there could be a lot of opportunities for you to date this week or to meet new people as well. Uh, next, you have the Six of Diamonds, a very lucky card, a uh, card of a lot of luck coming to you at this time. So, you know, it's a great week for, uh, you know, taking risks and doing things that you want to do. This card also represents a uh, turnaround in energy, much better energy coming in for you at this time. Um, <clears throat> being able to Again, do things that you've tried to do in the past that maybe have not worked out. Uh, other than that, it can represent um, needing to, again, needing to put yourself out there. It's kind of like a card of, as I always say, it can represent shyness. It can represent like holding things in that you need to let out. Uh, this could be in love or business. It says, again, if you let your feelings out, that it will actually be very positive and could lead to some positive changes. Next, you have the Two of Diamonds. Obviously, you are matching up with something very positive financially this week. Um, even if you're retired, I think that you know this could be an investment that you make, or a lot of you could be seeing more money coming in, or some of you could be getting a promotion or uh, some sort of new job this week. Um, and again, especially if you put yourself uh, out there and if you take those risks at work. And finally, you have the Jack of Diamonds. Again, very good card for money. More money coming in, and this is a card of, you know, profits and making more money. It also is kind of like a card of being at the very beginning of something, being at the beginning of some sort of journey that has a positive effect on you. Uh, so, <clears throat> like I said, take those risks for sure. It can be a card of being a little bit nervous. Like I said, you know, I do feel like there could be a little bit of resistance for you. I mean, you're only kind of getting this, like, very single message this week. There's not a whole lot of other stuff coming up. Um, but I do feel like a lot of you might be resisting something. I would say do whatever you are resisting this week because, again, I feel like it'll lead to something much, much greater, uh, especially just, again, based off the layout. Um, I think that, you know, a lot of you could be 
resisting something at work or resisting taking on extra responsibilities or when again when these things are presented to you you could feel that resistance but I would go with it because I think it will help you out in a lot of ways many ways you know major growth the jacks represent being at the very beginning of something like major so and you have three of them so I think it could be very important for you other than that like I said listen to all messages that come to you this week especially in your dreams with the queen the, the three jacks these can represent messages in your dreams daydreams uh, that could lead you again to something much greater so thank you for watching and enjoy your week